Good day, grade 7. Today is our MAPI 7 in 4th quarter, week 4. My name is Rinaldo B. Malimba. And today's lesson, we talk about the grooming, looking good for pet to cook. First is your hair. How do you keep your hair clean and shiny? How often should you wash it? Oily hair needs to shampoo more often. Dry hair must be washed at least twice a week. So choose a shampoo that is designed for your hair type. And some shampoos are fine to be used every day. When you comb your stimulate the scalp that helps to increase blood flow, the increased circulation brings the, it more oxygen and nutrients, which nourish the hair roots and promote hair growth. Combing also activates the sebaceous gland, which produces sebum or scalp's natural oil. Take note, wash and comb your hair regularly to make it silky and shiny. Next is your skin. Based from your skin, a washcloth may be used to scrub your body. Choose a soap that is best for your skin. Antiperspirant may be used to cut down on perspiration and keep your fresh smelling all day and long. Alum or tawas is good for antiperspirant. Next is your face. Wash your face every morning and night. Clean oily skin more often. Astringent lotion can help put down on oiliness of skin. If you have dry skin, use the moisturizer after you're washed. But take note, makeup can damage your skin. Use them only when needed. Next is your fingernails. You need nail clippers to trim your fingernails and an emery board to smoothen them. Push back cuticles with an orange stick and do not cut cuticles. A nail brush is used to remove dirt under the nails. Cut the nails straight. Use only light or transparent nail polish. If your nails are not healthy, you may not be getting enough protein. But take note, manicure and pedicure can be done at home Claim your nails regularly. Long nails keep dirt. Next is the body odor. Now what is body odor? Body odor is caused by the actions of bodies on perspiration of apocrine or sweat glands under the arms and the genital region. How to control body odor? These are some of the important things to do the control body odor. One is take a bath every day, use soap to rid the skin of bacteria and any excess oil. Second, wear clean clothes. Avoid using garments that come into the contact with sweat glands. Clothing made of natural fibers allows better air circulation, inhibiting the growth of bacteria and use two deodorants or antiperspirant and that anti antiperspirant contain the chemicals that help area remain dry let's talk about your teeth so brush your teeth after each meal use dental floss or strip up Black. How to brush your teeth? Here are some tips for brushing your teeth to keep 
clean and shiny always. One is place brush at the 45 angle to front tooth surface. Bristle must contact both lines of tooth and gums. Why? Because brush the upper teeth with downward strokes. Second, move the brush in a small, jiggling, and circular motion because this is brush chewing surface with a scrubbing stroke. Three, clean the inside surface of the back teeth by moving the brush in and small back in the fourth motion. So brush it each area, including the surface next to tongue and to cheek. Fourth, Clean the inside surface of the front of upper teeth by tilting the brush vertically using the small up and down strokes. So brush teeth or each jaw separately. 5. Clean the inside surface of the front lower teeth by tilting the brush vertically, vertically using the small up and down strokes. And the sixth one is move the brush and a back and forth motion to clean the biting surface. So, baking soda is a good for abrasive and can remove tartar and stain in teeth. A simple mouth wash preparation is plain saline solution or salt and water. But take note, always brush your teeth after each meal. There is no substitute for an original teeth. Let's talk about the orthodontics. It's the branch of dentistry that is involved in correcting faults in positioning of your teeth. Repositioning or realigning teeth requires the use of adjustable brace, which is either a clip over the teeth or cemented temporarily to their surface. So, orthodontics care involves the use of devices such as brace, strengthened teeth, correct problems with bite, and the closed cups between teeth. In the dental cares, everyone's the set of teeth that the baby temporary teeth is permanent in this teeth. In spite of the name, some people lost their permanent teeth later in life due to some dental problems like tooth decay. Now how does the tooth decay? The enamel of hard desert substance is the thick but acids produced by action of bacteria on sugar and other simple carbohydrates can erode and form cavity which in the beginning of tooth decay or dental hairs. In the untreated decay, progresses and eventually cause loss of tooth. So this is the absence of symptoms by force field suck in the tissue around the tip of tooth rope which is embedded in the jaw bone. This usually happens when the tooth is decaying. So these early symptoms of both decay includes mild toothache and tooth decay progress. There is person 10 pain. Now what are treatment? Pain relievers such as aspirin or may help until you get to your dentist. In the early stage of disease, your dentist will clean and fill the cavity in advanced cares. A root canal or tooth extractions may be performed to remove the decayed tooth. And these are some of natural remedies for tooth pain. We have salt and pepper, asapoteda, ginger, guava leaves, salt water, ice cubes. Next is the malocclusion. It's a condition which the teeth fail to line up properly. Many people are born with malocclusion. This misalignment or incorrect relation between the teeth of the upper and the lower dental are just when they approach each other or other as the jaw close. 
but this orthodist is dentist who are specialized in treating malocclusion. The ideal set of teeth are straight, regularly spaced with neither overlap nor gaps and exactly the right size for the juice. The treatment is generally the treatment of irregularly positioned teeth is to wear brace for a period of months. The final point of the treatment after brace is removed is to fit retainer to hold all teeth is new position. Corrective surgery may be recommended for the adults with severely crowded or molecular teeth or if the joke protrudes or recedes. And these are the following kinds of the, the malocclusion. We have the excessive spacing, crowding, open bite, overbite or deep bite, cross bite in front of teeth, cross bite, back teeth, underbite, overjet or prostrusion and the abnormal eruption. How the malocclusion of teeth is treated? To be checked, raised to correct the position of your teeth, dental appliances or retainers to realign teeth, the model of teeth is correct overcrowding, reshaping, bunching or Cupping of teeth and surgery to receive or certain your due. Now let's move on. Is the bad breath halitosis? In the halitosis, common condition and most often caused by build up of bacteria in the mouth because of the gum disease, food or plaque, many cause of bad. So in the bad breath, in the hol halitosis, is an offensive smell from the mouth that may be caused by the following. One is the bleeding gums caused by inflammations of the gums. Next, infections are ulcerations of the mouth, linings, and tongue. We have tooth decay. Degrading the brush or teeth at least twice a day. Degrading to clean your dentures properly. Eating spicy foods such as onion, garlic, and drinking alcohol. Smoking can cause nasal and sinus infections which may cause bad breath. And the bad breath sometimes occurs with fever. A person caught by produce food smelly flame cold bronchitis or chronic lungs disease so this is a constant breathing through the mouth dries up saliva and able the bacteria to grow and produce the bad breath and regular brushing and antiseptic mouthwash can treat minor bad breath problems so see a dentist for dental problems that should be treated immediately Let's talk about the gingivitis. Gingivitis is an early stage of periodontal gum disease. It is caused by plaque and sticky deposit of bacteria, mucus, and food particles that form at base of the teeth. When left on the teeth or longer, plaque hardens into the material is what you call the calculus or tartar. It may also be caused by other factors like vitamins deficiency, certain medication, glandular disorder, and blood disease. So this is the symptoms of irritations. Inflammation of gums are caused by buildup or plaque. In the gingivitis, the gums becomes what? Red and soft, shiny and swollen on the puppy gums, dusky red of dark red gums, gums that bleed easily when you brush your floss, bad breath, receding gums, tooth pain or sensitivity, plaque build up, and even from the gentle brushing. So what is your treatment? Brush your teeth truly the 
at least twice a day and after meal or dental floss at least once a day remove all plaque and see you dentist for their treatment and these are the, the that is the treatment when you brush your teeth next is the skin the skin is the largest organ of human body with many functions it is a main defense against the entry of disease organism serves in watertight container and prevent the air from the drying up the system acts and cushions for bumps and recovering for delicate inner tissue the skin regulates the body temperature the sense of touch gives your information about your environment now this is the parts of the skin of structure the skin has two main layers the epidermis is the outer portions of the skin while the dermis is the under layer of the skin so the inner portion of epidermis con contains cells that produce the skin coloring called pigment so this pigment that is the found the layers of the skin is called melanin dark skin people have more melanin albinos are people with no melanin Pores are tiny openings in the epidermis and the molds grow by pigmented layers the skin and can be found anywhere in the body surface. So we have the epidermis made of epithelial cells and the dermis with sweat glands, hair follicles, oil glands, capillaries, nerve cells. Let's talk about the skin care. So the best way to take care of the skin is keeping it clean. So more teenagers are always conscious of how they look, especially their face. A healthy clean skin is blemish free and appealing. Taking care of the skin is easy and simple. A daily bath or shower with soap will rid your skin of dirt, bacteria and excess oil. This will keep you fresh all the day. Deodorants and antiperspirants are products that cover up the body odor with the pleasant scent. But the best way to combat the smell is to take a daily bath or shower with soap. Next is the skin problems. So there are many skin problems that can be affect the body. The common skin problems that affect teenagers are ache, warts, boil, eczema, and ringworm. So always consult dermatologists for any skin problem in order to have a proper treatment. In the ache is a common skin problem among the teenagers. So it is caused by clogged pores with oily substance called sebum. So the three types of ache are white head, black head, and pimple. In the white head is the result of oil being trapped in the pore, while the black head is an oil plug pore that is exposed to air and darkens, and the pimple is clogged pore that has become depicted and filled with pus. Again, the body odor is caused by too much sweating accompanied by the bad smell. Regular daily bath and use of deodorizer can minimize body odor. The same as red inching, skin rash that often becomes dry and scaly, and it is a general cause by touching something to which the skin is sensitive. And the ringworm or bony. It's an infection caused by fungi. It's characterized by red, red spot on the skin, arm, legs, and other parts of the body. That also they include the attic foot. It caused by fungal infection. To prevent athlete foot, wash your foot carefully with soap and keep it dry. Avoid footwear that cause your feet to perspire.
in our thoughts for today, again, health is the greatest wealth. This is Rinaldo B. Malimban. Please uh, continue and patronage our e-class online learning platform. Thank you and goodbye.